So one thing I always like to do is just to recalibrate and remind people of why we do what we do, what governs it. And as you know, there's two bodies of legislation. The one that governs exactly how we assess during each year is No Child Left Behind. So No Child Left Behind is the 2001 reauthorization of ESEA. And it is the one with the testing mandates. And it is the legislation that has yet to be um, revised or reauthorized. So that is what continues to govern our state testing program. So we are responsible to the federal legislation. So IDEA comes in as well. And IDEA is really about access to the general curriculum. And IDEA says that if we're assessing students from the general ed assessment, pardon me, the general ed curriculum, we should be assessing all of our students. If we have academic content standards for our students in the general ed, we should have them for all students. So these are the two piece, parts of the legislation that I think um, that I think we could probably all agree on in many ways. This is how those two pieces of legislation I think complement each other. That assessments for the group of children should be academic in nature. They should be challenging for this group of students. They should promote access to the general curriculum. They should reflect professional judgment, which is what you as professionals have very much more so I think in this population to uniquely tailor things to our students. And they should provide meaningful access to student content. So one of the things that I remind people to is this can be um, sort of a conduit to other things, but this is also only one measure of all the things that our students do. Because our students do learn academics in very rich and exciting ways. And they also learn about a lot of other things. And we also assess them in many different ways. 